So what was the question? So explain the whole, uh, the Teichon so far, the, the subject matter right now, rather, is the Nyan of Shemus. So I pointed out that on the one hand, if you might say, Ani Nikra, on one hand, the Shem is a particular Pu'ula, but nonetheless, Ani Nikra in that Pu'ula, and this is what He's explaining. So he said, I just want to an answer to uh, to Autumn's uh, question, one of his questions. So he brought here the Gemara that Bechol Karina Ilov, Ilov Veloy Lemidoisev. So what does it mean, Ilov Veloy Lemidoisev? So the Bashemta's word is, as we'll say, bring later, the Parada says it means the air that's mislabish in the spheres, that's a love. The Bashemta goes deep, and the Bashemta says it means the highest that's in the spheres themselves. And I think we said, why is, why is this higher and why is this a love? Because, as he says later in the Maimer, the highest of the Kalim is an atmizdika expression of Alikus. Kayach Gvul, as we explained yesterday, is Mushrash deeper than Kayach Blikvul. And hence, that's the union of the very Yashemus, says the Baal Shem Tev. The fact is, they are, they are the very Yashemus. So we're talking about, and, and, they're, and they're descriptive. They're descriptive and finite. Here we're asking for Chesed, and here we're asking for uh, Rachmim, and here we're asking for. for, for uh, Netzach v'hoid, for Hashem to wage war, or gvurah, whatever the case may be. So says the Baal Shem Tev, what do we mean by the Shemus? What the a love is, the, the Shemus are the expression of Nebush Eskoyach HaGvu. That's deeper than the vote of the Pardes, which is the oil itself, which is also a Chiddush, the Pardes. That we're not talking to the to the svira per se. The Bashemta's word is the pinimius of the svira. The chai, in other words, Gordon Pashtus, the Shemus are the Svirus themselves. Says the Pardus, no, it's the Urdism Slavish in the Svirus. Said Bashemta's no, it means the the highest of the of the Svirus, the higher level than the Ur even. All probing deeper and deeper to explain the a love. But at the same time, having to recognize that we're talking about Nebish in a particular tzir. That's the fact. We're invoking this particular tzir. And then we'll see the vote of the Alter Rebbe, see this Chabad, brought in Hayyim Yoyim. But, but, but let's, uh, let's get to that. So where are we up to? We did Ais Dalit. And the Shaila was that the vote of the Magid, the Spashta Sagashmis and his Gabrus Kayacharuchni, when that happens, so then the Gadshma Avadshma Damshacha, first we said, we'll explain that, and the Gadshma Damshacha, they wish his name. In which is the emergence of Shem Adnai is through Avadshma, through the eclipse of the, the, the second Shema goes of Shem Avaya, of Shem Avaya, which is the, in this mime, in this context, here, Shem Avaya, Shem Ba Mafurish, and Shem Ba Etzem, we're talking Atmis de Kigiloi. So when that's eclipsed, so then is the union of the God Shema Malchus emerges. And that happens, Diak Avadshma, it's referring to the Tzimtzim Arishan. A complete eclipse. So the Magid said that what the the the, the Shema, the second Shema, which is usually Avad, the Gili of, of the Shem Yudke Vovke, which is usually not, which cannot be said, because because Kriya means summoning forth in its Gili, and it's not. 
It's in the Gadshma Vajma, it's Avad, it's concealed. But in the in the Kadesh HaKadoshim, there it's revealed because Ispashtus Hagashmius in his Gabbas Kayach Aruchni, and that's not just Tam Shabbos, but Shabbos Shabbosin, not just Tam Kadesh, but Kadesh HaKadoshim. But the question was, but we're still talking about a Metzius, the, the Kayan God is a Metzius. He, he is a Havai, an, an existence. Even, even a, a Ruchni is the existence, Anim Kippur, Taken not a Chilash Shtia, but still. A ruchni is the existence bound to a goof, married. So what is achieved? The answer is that it's the yichud take because the etzim is revealed nina nim noise. So it's the yichud of shema mafurish of shema etzim, where even with zma, uh, 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 time, oshan oylam shon and nefesh, as he said, oylam in the in the space of kedusha kedoshim. And Shona, Anyum Kippur, and Nefesh in the Kohen Godel. So, in other words, because it's a, a gili of, of Nimna, Nim Nois, of, of Atzimus, which is now leads into the ultimate touch of Elo, of Leli Midoisov, coming now on Ice hey, so therefore there can be the Chibur of the Kohen Godel, remaining in Matthias, and, and Shem Havaya, the Shem Etzem, in a state of full revelation. And he's not dissolved out of existence, Dafka, because of the of Ninnanim noise. So let's go further, it'll become clearer still. We just said now, we just said now that in, that in Kurdish, the, because Ninnanim noise is revealed, therefore there can be the Chibar of Afachim, the fusion of opposites. So this is the Teichon of the Alter Rebbe's word. Shapirish that he said that Kaid Allah Atmos Nimna Nim Nois. And he brings the vote now, the Al Trebis vote quoted now Yom Yom for the Yudal of Tisha, the after Yom Kippur Dafka, this vote is brought. Or maybe that maybe he brings a part of this who says, Pirish Shahim Oyris Amislab Shimbakim. The, the part that says that a love means the oy, which is nishlabish in the keli. The Bashem Tev Pirish Shehu Achais Hakelim Atzmam. The Bashem Tev said quoted earlier, it's the highest in the keli. Um Misayim Rabbeinu Pirushay. Now the Rebbe concludes Shukayla La Atzmus. Again, as we explained, you know, it, it's not poshut because This needs a lot of deep uh, uh, appreciation. You know, what's the whole discussion over here? Atmos, I'm finished. A love. What's the needs the Alter Rebbe, and it needs, and, and this only emerges. It's uh, so recently in history. Till now was the part of this in the Bashem Tev revolution, another revolution, the Alter Rebbe. The Pshat is they're not, that they're not just giving Pshatlach. And Divar Torahs, but they are Mamshech the Indian. They are Mamshech this level of matter. And it's only when, as you got there, goes into saying, when in the Gilead, Terech Siddes Chabad, as a Chon and the preparation and the beginnings of, of, of Gilead Mashiach, that Atmos is revealed and it can be said, this, this, uh, 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 Paradox can is manifest that on the one hand, and it's inescapable that we're talking about hardcore different midas and spheres, the seven different names, and that's what they are in Pashtus, and that's where the st story starts and the story ends. To keep on peeling back the layer and bringing out a more atzmizdika, no, it doesn't mean that per se, but it's a fusion of the impossible. Of Atmos and Gvul, Bli Gvul and Gvul, really Bli Gvul and Gvul, by virtue of Atmos, this is impossible. It's possible in the Atmos, but it's impossible in the Seder Hoynyonim, in Seder Ishtalshalos, in the natural order. In the natural order, Gvul is Gvul and Bli Gvul is Bli Gvul, and never the twain shall meet. So the part that already says, we don't mean. The Gvul Mamish, there's the, it's the Oyer, which is really Bligvul, 
as it's filtered through the Gvul. Chiddush number one, we mean, when we say the Shem, we really mean the Pshitus, even though we're talking about a specific request. We want now Kale, we don't want Elikim. Kale not a phone, Allah, as Moshe said, invoking the healing for Miriam. He says the part of the snow, it's really the Pshitus that he's being Mamshech. Mamshech, the Pshitus, the Eid in the Kale. So no Shem to know even deeper. That too, but even deeper. It's the Chais and the Kali, it's the Kreich HaGvul that's in the Eir itself, which is more deeper, more atmistic. Now, the Rebbe Atmos Mamish, meaning that now Dafkin, Chesidus Chabad, Atmos is emerging and being revealed and can be accessed, this impossible Atmos where opposites fuse seamlessly at once as expressed it says Vizehu because this is Behemshech we just said now but the Kedosh HaKadoshim that it's Malkim Ma'orim Eine Min Amida so that was once upon a time only in Kedosh HaKadoshim only accessed in Yom Kippur and only really experienced by the Kohen Godly himself but now in that of B.S. and Mashiach this is this gala to everyone and is the reality here in, in our world. In the words of the Maimer, continuing, so the Al-Tarebbe says, that it goes on Atzmus, Atzmus is withheld from the withheld. Well, the impossible of the impossible. Impossible is bleakable. That's the true impossible. And Nimna Nimna is Atmos. And moreover, Shazel Shem Shemayim Shogar Befikur, the Alter Rebbe says that Shem Shemayim Shogar Befikur means that the name of heaven literally is Shogar, is, is, uh, is, 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 is uh, common in the mouths of everyone. What that means is that starting with a child, as he goes on to say in a moment, Instinctually, when, you know, the, the knowledge, the experience, the connection to God is something that's not even uh, 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 arrived at through the intellectual process. On the contrary, it's just instinctual. You don't have to teach a child about God. What is God? And it comes later. And even then, the questions are, even if there are, it's why? Because since Atmos is the ultimate reality and Atmos is present, therefore he's believed in. In other words, why do people believe in God ultimately? Because God exists. That's why they believe in him, because he is, not because of any, any cheshba. It's because his existence that, that, is, that is responsible for belief in him, because he's there. And what is ever present? Atmos. People have no concept, no idea of that. But what everybody does know, in quotations, is God. And that's Atmos. The Demis says this has always been true since the dawn of humanity. But Yeshloimar, again, as we progress closer to B.S. and Mashiach, more and more other is the presence of Atmos the essence of Hashem um, pal palpable even in the Shem Shemayim Shogim Befikol in previous generations it came with 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 filters some kind of imagery of what this God is maybe not articulated but on some some level the closer to B'yasem Mashiach it's stripped of all imagery just Atmos and this Chsidis Chabad is Machadish. The Alter Rebbe had Mesiris Nefesh for this. For Gilia Chsidis. And the Dvaralaya gave up her life literally. And Chsidim had Mesiris Nefesh. For what? The Megala Ats Muslimata. And then the impossible of the impossible. 
the Haino, the Pirisha Pardes, that betraces the history of this evolution, as we were sharing before. The Pardes says, Shuklolis Nina Kabbalah, who that he, he is, represents Kabbalah, and that's a huge revolution, a big Hiddish. And he came along and said, and we talk about the Shemus, don't get locked in the shame itself. You're not seven different gods, God forbid. It's the oy that's the slabish in the keli. That's what we're, we're addressing. And then came Teresa the Tzaklolis. Then came the Balshemta, the general teachings of Chassidus, all encompassing the transcendent Chitron. He was Mechadish. Deeper probing, deeper still, revealing deeper still. It's the highest in the kelim. Shulamaylam yoyres. Which is higher than the earth, as we explained, he and his causations and his galim, who the Mailibchinas higher than what he manifests in his life force in the oil. As we explained yesterday, the Kechagvul is rooted deeper, is a more atmistic expression, and it is an atmistic expression, more so than Bligvul, because Bligvul is his Pashtus, and his Pashtus is natural. All things make their presence known. That's the nature of existence is. That it's mispashed. To contain mispashtus is against existence and points to an atmisdika property. So that's the Barshem Tavs It's the atmisdika presence of God that we are addressing in the various shamas. So it's, a, it, it's quite the, the, in other words, the part of this kind of removed us from the shame itself, putting our focus on the oil, the oil mislabished in particular, Kaylee. Now, the altar, the Baal Shem Tev is saying, no, Shem Likim, Shem Kael. He's, the focus is, is on the Kaylee, but, but the awareness of the Kreicha Gvul that the Abishta contains himself in such a way, that's the emphasis. The Kreicha Gvul. As he goes with the Cholak, even though it's Gvul Adarabe, it's because it's almost as higher. Whatever descends lower is rooted in a higher place. So the Abish's containment is a deep expression of him, the natural expression. That was even, oh, for the viewer, it's lower. For the viewer, for the, for the outsider, us, it's lower. Gvul is lower than Bligvul. Kaili is lower than the oil. But the MS that reveals the Bashem Tev, Hashem is more present there. Because Kola Gavai Be Yosef, Yer the Mata Yosef. The higher is manifested in the lower. Then came Vechichad Ad Murazok, and then comes the Alter Rebbe, Bechsidis Chabad, who Shakoyla Atzmos Nimna Nimnois. That Eilov refers to the very essence of the Abish again, the impossible of the impossible, or the inheld of the inheld. And here is the fusion of Iyu Imchines Garmoyu. It's both equally. We're not negating the vote of the Pardis, obviously, or the vote of the Bashemtev. It's a shame. It's a particular name. We're talking about Shem Kael, Shem Elikim. But what is the name? It's simultaneous. It's simultaneously both bligvul and gvul. It's oyed and keli. It's all both perfectly. Why? Because it's atzmos. That's in kedusha kadoshim. There's gvul and bligvul. For the king God himself in the kedusha kadoshim, he spashed us beyond gashmis and within gashmis. Further, and this is the meaning, if you're according to my actions, I'm called. Even though the shame is other svidis. And again, we don't want an amshach of any other thing right now. We don't want gvura, for example, you want kale. But who we are addressing, we're addressing atzmos. Remember the vote I said it's all yesterday to look it up in, in the Pirish 
in, in explaining why we address Malachim, etc., which you do in Slichus and in, in the Ila, because we're on a lower level than previous generations, so therefore we can't access directly as it were the Avish to relieve this intermediary. So this says there's no intermediaries, not even divine intermediaries. It's all atmos. Ninam nimnois, manifesting at once, bligvul and gvul. Again, I'm repeating myself, you know, so it's such an easy thing to say. Why didn't someone come up with this before? That's because it was not possible to come up with before. The whole language, Atmos, is, on, is the language, not, not, even, not so much even of the Alter Rebbe. It's really the Rebbe's language. Of course, it's present in Chassidus before this. And in, in Ramban, in Rishonim, you know, kind of fleetingly. But this whole emphasis of Nimna Nimnois, Nechibur Hafochim, this is the Giloy of Chassidus Chabad. And Bimyuchad, our Rebbe, the final curtain, as it were. On the face of Hashem. So Vizehu is like the the statement, it brings an out of 48. I don't know what his first name was, but Rabbi Rabbein or whatever is the Kinon, he was a very early Makubo, a Rishan, and he's brought down uh, brought down in the Shalistubasari Vosh. Rabbi Yitzchak ben, ben Sheshet, who was a, who was a Mekubal, actually this brings it. So this, this uh, author used to say, said, the Da Satinik Animispalo. He doubles like a child. His whole this discussion, with the, what he meant by that, he, was he saying no Kabbalah, despite Kabbalah, or, or, because of Kabbalah. But I call upon him, the das, that was like a child, like as we said before, a child, naturally, instinctively, God, at Abishter, uncomplicated, atmos, no words whatsoever, not gvul, not bligvul, nothing. Pshitus atmos. So this is what Chesedes Chabad is revealing now to us in Seichel, that the mind is talking about this, and the mouth is speaking of it. Of it's a love that come all the hashpois, and that's who we're we are addressing. to heal the sick and to bless the years, panos, etc. But in order for the to be the matter is the oides the kelim the kelim So it's everything. So the whole process of oid and kelim and svirus. This virus. The in came of the svira, that's the bleak vol and the gvul. Shazel if my say, that's the different actions. Aval Baza Atma Yeshna Anni but in all of it the Anni Shupshitus Atmos, the simplicity of Atmos, which transcends even Ur. Concluding all of this was all to explain the Shem Tzvokis. And, and this is true of all the shemes. The koy Even not even though pshitos atzmos expressing himself in netzach v'hoyd in order to achieve milcham and itzach in milcham. And that's what the Eibush told Moshe when he nilch him and him when I wage battle. Again, the Rishonim ani nikra tzvokes I'm called ani nikra tzvokes. Shehu atzma yu anilchem but Rishonim he himself is waging war. El sham shocha the yasvirus netzach v'hoid but yam shocha is to netzach v'hoid. Okay, the emphasis is I, I don't believe we can have a proper, true grasp of this by definition because we're talking nimna nimnois. In other words, what was the, the, the manifested reality before Chassidus Chabad and what changed 
But I think we're getting a sense. I hope so. Yeah. Okay, let's go further. So further at, at explaining that the fitting of his mind, explaining in of Netzach why that is related to Milchomba, Matim Levayim, by my Netzach. So he explains the Indian of victory. Now I have to correct myself. He says there's a Shaykh Begodl Dafke. So I said, when, we, when I said Ayyad Aleph, Godl versus Cotton, meaning someone greater, someone smaller. Only someone who's greater can vanquish an enemy. It doesn't mean that. He means Godl in the halachic sense, an adult. An adult versus a cotton, a minor. Dingin of Itzach, and it's only Shaykh by a Godl, and the ultimate Godl is the Melech, as he goes on to say now. In the, in the round bracket, so stand corrected. Mashenkin be cotton, a cotton doesn't have midas on its ochen. Even though, even though child obviously is, is uh, exhibits often a more stubborn behavior and has to have his or her way. But as we all know, the child can be easily bribed. Not everything is so negaya. There are some things that the child would, the cotton, will stand on and not compromise, not give up till achieved. And there are things which are not so important for the child. Okay, I want it, but okay, can't get it, then so be it. But a godlin adult, a mature adult. So because his wills come from a deep place of maturity, he will elaborate further from a deep place within him. Therefore, every prat is negay. Again, this seems on the surface counter, the opposite of reality. The child is the one that, uh, that uh, Christ gets his or her way. And the godl will, as we looked at the previous Maimer, forgo things. It doesn't have to always be my way. But the Nakuda here is when the my way is, the God will understand that this is Negea. It's Negea. This small detail is Negea to the whole picture. And therefore, there's not going to be any compromise. And that comes only from the God that who's life ought to be anyway governed by and all decisions and all desires by things that are negaya to you know the they're important the big picture and it's not important it does not he's not involved in the first place he doesn't want it if he does want it it's because it's negaya we'll see further further elaboration as you go yeah, starting now so the greater the god will the Midas and Itzachan is greater because all his desires are essential. And the true manifestation is the Melech. He's the true God. Actually, so it's not so different to what I said in my first understanding of adult and minor, because he's talking here about within Godel, greater and greater. So it is the, the, the greater and the smaller. It is that too. Maybe Melech, maybe that's what he means actually. Not sure. Both. At any rate, Maybe Melech, the says about Shola Melech, he brings from the Vizid Gerebbe, that he was shoulder, head and shoulders above everybody else. The Haino meaning, the shoulder. That's, that's external and the hinder of the head, relative to the head of the person. It's the head, it's where his panemius lies. But the is the external levels of the melech. That's higher than the head, the highest levels of the, of the people. So by him, he's the true Godel. And he By him, everything is Negea. All his wills 
are Negea for which Nitzachan, when challenged, then has, has to be completely defeated. Okay, we'll we continue in more greater detail. We'll just finish the sentence. And by him getting his way is of the absolute uh, intensity. And he goes on to elaborate upon the two kinds of milchama that the Fidyabi speaks about. There's the milchama that is a tactical milchama. It's a, it's a, it's a cheshben in order to increase wealth and power, etc. And then there's a milchama, the true of milchama when, when the kingdom is at stake. And that's the true of milchama. To be explained. And that only the melech appreciates. And will give up everything uh, to achieve victory, including his own life. Okay, to be explained, Mr. Shem, elaborate tomorrow.